repeat this type of question for one or two mark all right so how to do it so find the ratio of 60 paise and 3 rupees so you can see that they are in different units ratios whenever you're finding out they have, they have to be in the same unit so here we have a different unit one is paisa and one is rupee so we're going to convert into one same unit so it is always easy to convert rupees into paise because the conversion is simple right instead of converting paisa to rupee it'll, it'll uh, when you convert the answer will be in decimal again calculate will become more complicated so we're going to convert rupees into paise and then we're going to find out the ratio similarly for second question also i'm going to convert everything into a grams here and then we're going to solve it so so whenever you see this type of questions make sure that you have a same units so here they have given 60 paisa and they have given three rupees so here i'm going to convert rupees into paisa but we know that one rupee one rupees is equal to 100 paise right so when you're converting rupees into paise you're converting a higher unit into a smaller unit which means you have to multiply here so if one rupee is equal to 100 paise then three rupees will be or rupees three will be equal to three into 100 paise which will be equal to 300 paise now we're going to find the ratio so here we have a let me solve from here itself so 60 paise is to 3 rupees right so it will become uh, 60 paise so 60 p i'm writing p is paise is to instead of 3 rupees i'm going to write down 300 paise now you know that ratios can be also written in a fraction form so this will be equal to 60 paise and a 300 paise so the unit will get cancelled the paise the p will get cancelled the units will get cancelled you can cancel the zeros also here and we have 6 and 30 cancel it further so 6 ones are 6 fives are 30 so this is equal to 1 is to 5 so ratios are always brought into the simplest form so try to cancel the number bring it to the least form or the simplest form and then convert back into the ratios so 1 is to 5 or 1 by 5 is in a fraction so i'm going to convert this into a ratio so this will be equal to 1 is to 5 so same way we have to do the second question so let me run the second one here so the answer is 1 is to 5 for the first question now in the second one we have 3 kg and 250 gram is to 5 kg right so here i told like i mentioned before i'm going to convert everything into gram because converting grams into kg means you have to divide you will get the answer in decimal so i want to avoid that part so we're going to convert everything into a k into a grams so we know that 1 kg is equal to 1000 grams right so here 3 kgs will be equal to 3000 3, grams so 1 kg is 1000 grams so 3 kg will be 3 into 1000 which will be 3000 grams so when you're converting a higher unit to a smaller unit you have to multiply so 3 into 1000 is 3000 grams so here 3 kg 250 grams will be we know 3 kg is 3000 so 3000 grams plus 250 grams so this will be equal to 3250 gram now similarly i'm going to convert the 5 kg also so 5 kg will be equal to 5 into 1000 gram which will be equal to 5000 gram now we're going to find out the ratio so we want the ratio for 3 kg 250 gram is to 5 kg so in place of 3 kg 250 gram i go write down 3250 gram is to 5 kg in place of 5 kg i'm going to put 5000 gram so like i mentioned before we're going to convert the ratios into fraction so it will be 3250 grams divided by 5000 grams so units will get cancelled and the one zero i can cancel here you can cancel this in five table you can cancel this in whichever table is easy for you go for that here i'm going to cancel these numbers into um, five table so five ones are five you will get 100 and here five six are 30 32 is there right so 30 which means two will be the remainder i'm going to put along with the five it will make the number 25 and five fives are 25 so here i've got 65 and 100 we can again cancel this in five table five twos are 10 and then zero 20 and 5 13s are is 65 so here we got the ratio 
uh, or the fraction is 13 upon 20 so the ratio will become 13 is to 20 I cannot cancel 13 20 further because 13 is a prime number it doesn't go in tables we cannot cancel this further so this is a ratio